welcome to my channel. So I was talking to a friend of mine and she mentioned that Goop's Valentine's Day gift guide came out and she mentioned some of the items that are on the list and of course the prices are insane. If you don't know Goop, it's Gwyneth Paltrow's um, outrageous company. But my friend was talking about some of the items on the list and she saw my reactions. She said, wait, before you see anything else, do a reaction video to it. And I was like, that might be a good idea. She sent me the pictures of some items with the description and the price list. So first we have some ruby chandelier earrings and it says this enchanting earrings top Goop's list as the most expensive gift on the guide. Okay, let's see. They're pretty. They're very pretty. I love long earrings. I love a good long earring. And then the price, no way. Seventy-seven thousand dollars. Seven seven, comma, triple zero. You can go and wish and get really beautiful earrings for ten bucks. A heart pendant necklace. Oh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. this dazzling pendant necklace double as a charm, meaning you can detach the rubelite. Rubelite? Am I saying it right? Jewel to wear the gold chain on its own. 20k recycle rose gold okay this is gonna be like right up there too eighteen thousand dollars not only eighteen thousand dollars eighteen thousand dollars four hundred and the heart is what makes it pretty if you wear just the gold I, I don't like it next we have checkers in rose quartz display next to your coffee table books in the living room Display your entire paycheck on the table, I say. $1,895, $1,895. For checkers, checkers, you can go to Target and get checkers. If I spend $1,900 on a piece of checkers, I wouldn't leave it laying in my living room. It will be in the safe. Ooh, right up my alley, a vibrator necklace. A vibrator that doubles as a necklace. This one is made out of stainless steel and finished in 24 karat gold. It's known for being quiet. Mmm, something we like in a vibrator. A full charge lasts about 40 minutes. I liked it that it said it's known for being quiet because, you know, some vibrators are like, zoom, zoom. we don't want that. I like the way it looks. It's very chic. It almost looks like, I don't know, like a fancy pen. You can put it under your shirt or under your sweatshirt. $149. Okay, I'm not mad. I'm not mad. $149 for vibrator. It's not that bad, especially because it's so convenient. It's quiet. USB port. Lasts 40 minutes. You know what this will be good for? Traveling. If you're in a, you know, a 12 hour flight or something, or if you're scared flying and you need to, you know, calm down and take the edge off of you, just grab your necklace, go in the bathroom, have a little playtime, go back to your seat, go to sleep. And if you're in the airplane and you want to have playtime with a regular vibrator that's this big, you have to carry your whole purse to the bathroom. They have dessert plates, a set of six. Each porcelain plate showcases unique designs, but together create a cohesive collection. $340, $340. It's almost $57 per plate for a dessert plate. Don't feed your kids with this plate, No, uh A bow, a bow? This perfectly tight silk bow has hook and eye closures that can be attached to any garter or panties. $90, $90 for a bow. You can go to Michael's Arts and Crafts, buy your own silk or make your own bow. Steel wood claws. I think I've seen this before. Maybe I think I've seen this on the, on the trailer for her show on Netflix. They can help create those sexy, energetic tingles that precede excellent sex. They are easily stored in plain sight. If you lace the fingers together, they make a killer cookbook stand. $95, $95 for like wood fingers? Can you go to like Target and Amazon and you get one of those like salad tossers for really cheap? But I hear it's really good for foreplay. You know that sensation that some people like, you know, the nails going like 
scratching your body if you go like in the inside of your legs all the way to your groin you know your crotch area gives you like mm, mm -hmm. pasties pasties smooth glossy gold pasties look divine under sheer burlettes and strappy play suits 100 percent copper 110 dollars 110 dollars for this little guys this two little guys you can go to Michael's Arts and Crafts and make your own pasties with the rhinestones and the little diamonds and everything. I used to be part of a burlesque group and we had all the props, you know, we had gloves, we have the feather boas and cheers and the girls used to make their own pasties. I think these pasties are just to get the look of your nipples being constantly hard. So it's safe to say that this list is basically for people who don't care about their money. I mean, I admit, there's some great ideas here. We just got to cheapify. Make your own pasties and bow. Paint your own plates. You can also get a cock vibrator ring to use it as a portable vibrator. So this was my reaction to some of the items in Goop's Valentine's Day gift guide. If you like this video, please make sure you hit the thumbs up, subscribe to your channel, and also hit the little bell, the notification button so you don't miss any future videos. And I'll see you next time.